Hello everyone, with the Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Thursday evening, November 2, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your year recently. Also feel free to ask any other related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific era. Alright, so let us take a look at what the United States National Hurricane Center is showing on their 7-day graphical tropical weather outlook. We can see that that area that we've been monitoring across the Caribbean, stretching from the east to the central, is now in the southwestern Caribbean, right there to the south of Jamaica. And it now has a 20% chance of tropical cyclone formation within the next 48 hours, that's the next 2 days, as well as the next 7 days. According to the Hurricane Center, it states, disorganized showers and thunderstorms over portions of the Western Caribbean Sea are associated with a broad air flow pressure. Development, if any, of this system is expected to be slow to occur before it moves inland over Central America on Friday night or Saturday. Regardless of development, this system is expected to bring heavy rains over portions of Jamaica through tonight and across Central America through the weekend. So, Jamaica has been mentioned in the hurricane center's forecast so there's definitely going to be a lot of rainfall across the island tonight into tomorrow and it has already started in some spots taking a look at the gfs ensemble models we can see that most of the models have this system moving towards the west southwest into central america sections of nicaragua for sure then exiting that country and heading off into the eastern pacific the euro model something a bit different going more towards the west even making it up to tropical storm status we'll see exactly what unfolds with that either way we can see that most of these models don't make it into a tropical storm within the next two days it's way after it makes it across central america around the next 120 hours the next five days that we see the model starting to intensify making it into tropical storm or even hurricane status and we can see it even better on the model forecast we can see that yes we're indeed in for some amount of rainfall across section of jamaica within the next 24 to 48 hours then it should be making it into central america there we have the l right there by 3 z on sunday that's about by 10 pm on saturday that's on the euro model what does the gfs show let us see exactly what unfolds yes lots of greens around jamaica most of that rainfall heading into portion of central america as time goes along then we can see that by late saturday night into early sunday morning majority of the weather associated with the system is across sections of central america getting ready to exit we can see that red l right there across the eastern pacific as right, so let's just take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can still see that we have that cold front across the southwestern Atlantic stretching all the way into the western Caribbean. We can also see that that cold front has induced a trough that is represented by those broken red lines right there stretching all the way down into portions of eastern Cuba, even sections of the northern central Caribbean to the north of Jamaica. Taking a look at the visible satellite images of jamaica before the sun went down we can see some low level clouds right there across section of the central caribbean moving very quickly that is telling of the amount of winds the intense winds that we have across the caribbean and we're going to be getting in on some of that strong wind activity all of that here will be piling up and we're definitely in for some strong wind across the island for tomorrow definitely some rainfall especially across the eastern portions of the island as well you can also see the clouds associated with that coast front stretching all the way from northern portions of the north atlantic all the way down into portions of the bahamas cuba and sections of central america we'll be talking more about the caribbean's weather later on let's focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across jamaica for today it was stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall across sections of northern and eastern jamaica last night into early thursday morning into early this morning and what ended up happening by the way we know our northern parishes we're talking about hanover st james chelani st anne st mary portland our eastern parishes are talking about those parishes in the county of surrey so kingston st andrew portland st thomas 
and what ended up happening as early as 12 15 a.m that was a little bit after midnight last night we had a lot of clouds bringing some amount of strong thunderstorm activity across sections of some northern parishes so definitely sections of hanover st james trelawney st and st mary portland as well as sections of st thomas got in on some of that activity and we even have confirmation of this rainfall toxic for fun stating western to Dongya tear dung. Even on our Facebook page, we had commenters confirming the rainfall. Ruth Johnson stating, heavy rain in Mobe with wind last night. Suzette Delisser overcast here. Audrey Jackson overcast in the hills of St. James. But it's right here that we see the confirmation of the rainfall across the north again. So definitely some rainfall across sections of Ocho Rios. Heavy rain in Ocho Rios. Kewato, light rain. Shamar Birthfield was raining like crazy for a while in Mobe and Shawnee Reynolds light rain in St. Andrew and even as early as 4.20 a.m. another post was made on our Twitter page and I want for you to keep in mind that these posts aren't only made on our Twitter but definitely on our Instagram, TikTok as well as our Facebook page that we just showed so if you're on one of those social media platforms please ensure that you follow us there because we don't only post on our YouTube page and you can't miss these smaller post at all they're very important so you can see that by 4 20 a.m the cuban doppler radar images were shown showing some amount of light moderate or even heavy rainfall across sections of some northern and eastern parishes still affecting the island by around 4 20 a.m so it was definitely some all night rainfall into early morning which explains why the meteorological service of jamaica has extended their flash flood watch from yesterday into this afternoon and we can see that another post was made at 8.25 a.m. Still highlighting the infrared satellite images showing clouds bring overcast skies, showers and thunderstorms in sections of especially eastern parishes, spilling into sections of some central parishes as well. So we indeed had a lot of overcast skies across sections of Kingston, St. Catherine today, even some drizzle activity as well. And we have confirmation of this, Melissa stating rain, rain and even Ravi below her sitting and more rain and even on our instagram page we have commenters confirming the rainfall the shane stating start again just now in mobe tg minidal rain in mobe from last night and if we take a look at the visible satellite images of jamaica before the sun went down we can indeed see where we had more of an easterly flow across the island then as we started to wind down with the sun with this light going away we can see some amount of clouds starting to build up across sections of western and northern jamaica and we saw that even better on the infrared satellite images showing the high cold cloud tops across definite sections of northern saint elizabeth sections of west milan some of this spilling into sections of some northern parishes as well not to mention sections of portland right there in the east and if we take a look at the doppler radar images we can see that rainfall that we're still experiencing right now and more to come so definitely sections of eastern jamaica we can see some rain bands coming into sections of st thomas portland portland definitely getting in on some rainfall right now st catherine sections of st anne Shilani, st james west milan not so much on the south coast so maybe some drizzle taking place right now in kingston but not so much across sections of st catherine clarendon manchester st elizabeth at all at this hour so it's a little bit after seven nothing taking place right now as relates to the caribbean institute for meteorology and hydrology's accumulated precipitation for the past 24 hours we indeed see the confirmation of where we had that rainfall today something similar to what's happening right now eastern and northern parishes as well as sections of some western parishes maybe some drizzle across sections of kingston and saint andrew for the most part for today while majority of the south coast was is wasn't in for any rainfall at all taking a look at the temperatures right now we can see we have 26 degrees celsius in both montego bay and kingston and by 3 a.m on friday the temperature should dip down to about 25 degrees celsius in both montego bay and kingston as to relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow we can see that friday 18 z has jamaica embedded in some yellows and some slight oranges that represent one to two degrees celsius above normal temperatures i know the normal temperatures for the month of november is about 88 degrees fahrenheit and that's about the equivalent of 30 degrees celsius so we should be receiving anywhere from 30 to 32 degrees celsius at most 
for Friday's temperature across Jamaica. As we to the dry air map, we can still see a lot of moist air across the eastern to the central and western Caribbean as indicated by the blues. Majority of dry air is indicated by the key at the bottom, represented by the yellows, oranges and reds, and not to mention the whites within those reds. And we can see a lot of dry air across the Gulf of Mexico, off the east coast of the United States, across the northeastern Caribbean and portions of the northern Atlantic. Taking a look at the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Friday, we do see that some of these browns that represent the siren dust are starting to make its way into sections of Jamaica by that time. But it won't even be that robust or even noticeable, especially considering the amount of cloud cover that we're going to be experiencing. So we won't even see the hazy skies. Persons as more sinusitis is not going to be triggered at all, especially considering that this plume of dust is not that robust. If we're going to see hazy skies or asthmatic or allergic reactions in people, we have to look at those darker shades of brown and we don't see that coming off of Africa at this time. Only some light shades, majority of the saran dust has been dwindling considering the time of year. Taking a look at the wave forecast, we can see that both the Euro and the GFS has a lot of blues to the north and west of the island that represent 1 to 1.5 meter wave heights. But look at the east and the southern portion of the island, definitely a lot of purples that indicate up to 2 meter wave heights. And that's due to the fact that the winds are going to be weak on the north coast and the west coast that represent the blues that represent the 1 to 1.5 meter wave heights because the winds are going to be coming at a pace of 15 to 20 knots as we can see by the greens while the south and the eastern portion of the island are going to be having the stronger winds with the yellows that represent up to 25 knots so it all makes sense and we can see that majority of these winds are going to be coming in from the east and if we take a look at the wind shear map we can see that the wind shear is going to be coming in from the northwest so we're definitely going to be in for some more rainfall especially across the east and the southern portion of the island so definitely sections of portland st mary kingston st andrew st thomas especially sections of st Catherine, clarinda manchester st elizabeth westmoreland are going to be in for that rainfall and if we take a look at the precipitation forecast we can see that both the Euro and the GFS are showing consensus. We're looking for where we see the blues across the same spots on both the Euro and the GFS model. And we see the blues across sections of that looks to be... Uh, it looks like I, I exited the page. Let me get it back quickly. Alright, so it's right here. So the GFS model and the Euro model are both showing that for 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's 11 p.m. Jamaica time, we see a lot of blues right there across eastern Jamaica, maybe even spilling into some southern coastal areas as well. So definitely sections of St. Thomas and Portland for 11 p.m. tonight, some more rainfall in store, just like what we're experiencing right now. Definitely have some more rainfall to receive, as you can see on the Cuban upload our images. Skipping ahead to about 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 8 a.m. Jamaica time. Much of the same. Not so much across Central and Western Jamaica, but definitely sections of St. Thomas and Portland still have the blues that represent rainfall at that time. That's 8 o'clock. Then skipping ahead to about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 3 p.m. Jamaica time. So 3 p.m. Jamaica time, what do we see? We see consensus. Definitely still some more rainfall for Eastern Jamaica, St. Thomas, Portland. But look at that, we're starting to incorporate sections of some central parishes, not to mention sections of some northern parishes as well. And we can't rule out some western parishes getting in on some amount of rainfall. So definitely sections of some eastern, central, and western parishes for the afternoon hours as well for 3 p.m. on a Friday. So if you have work to go to tomorrow, please ensure that you walk with your rain gear, umbrella, whatever the case may be. It's definitely going to be a wet one for the afternoon. For the most part in jamaica eastern jamaica for the morning hours of course and if we take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast by both the year and the gfs we see that we have the consensus that yes from now upon till 10 p.m on friday the consensus is for the heaviest of the rainfall to be across sections of eastern jamaica the euro showing 1.59 inches of rainfall across st thomas portland right there 
the GFS showing 1.03 either way we have the consensus yes eastern Jamaica is definitely going to be where we are going to be having the rainfall across the island and we are very much grateful for the rainfall considering that it is cooling down the temperatures and it's not bringing that much of a drastic flooding um, activity you know causing you know misery in some way so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get we're in the month of november now we usually start to dwindle down in the amount of rainfall that we usually experience during this month and then we head into a dry period from december to april so we'll take all the rainfall that we can get before we enter into that dry period all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so we can see that we have a lot of low level clouds bringing some amount of isolated thunderstorms to sections of the eastern caribbean stretching all the way from the leeward to the windward islands not to mention sections of suriname guyana venezuela colombia panama costa rica nicaragua as usual honduras el salvador guatemala belize sections of cuba not to mention sections of jamaica and the bahamas and if we take a look at the Doppler radar images of the northeastern Caribbean, we have confirmation of what we just saw. They've definitely been getting in on some amount of rainfall across those areas today, even although we don't have much of anything across the area. There's still a lot of low-level clouds moving from east to west. We don't see troughs. We don't see a tropical wave. It's just a lot of scattered showers, lots of heat or mist showers, reaching all the way from the leeward to the windward islands. Definitely a section that Puerto Rico had some rainfall today can see a lot of rainfall coming in from the east to affect sections of St. Martin, St. Kitts, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, sections of the US and British Virgin Islands, Guadeloupe definitely already getting in on some amount of rainfall, Dominica, Martinique, sections of St. Lucia as well. And if we skip over to the Barbados radar, we can be indeed see that Barbados is getting in on some amount of rainfall right now and some more rainfall to come from the east later on tonight. We can also see that rainfall across sections of Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada. Definitely getting in you know, on some very heavy rainfall right now across sections of Trinidad and Tobago, especially Tobago. Look at those yellows, oranges, and reds. Definitely some moment of flash flooding could be taking place across those islands tonight into tomorrow. We can also see that when we take a look at the wide wave Doppler radar images, we do see that rainfall that we just mentioned across sections of Guyana, Suriname, Northern Venezuela, sections of Belize, lots of flash flooding taking place, not to mention sections of Northeastern Guatemala and Northwestern Honduras, just as predicted in yesterday's video. If we take a look at the temperature forecast, we can see that for the most part, the Eastern and Central Caribbean should be receiving some amount of average temperatures for 18 days on Friday. This is actually 1 p.m. on Friday. While the central and western caribbean should be getting in on some slight above normal temperatures indicated by those yellows and slight oranges as it relates to the saran dust forecast we can see that majority of the eastern caribbean should be in the clear with the exception of the southern windward islands maybe trinidad and sections of the central caribbean including maybe hispaniola and jamaica with those slight hazy conditions but it won't even be that noticeable as it relates to the wave forecast, we can see that majority of the Caribbean should be averaging anywhere from 1.5 to at least 2 meter wave ice as indicated by those darker shades of blues and those purples. Majority of the Gulf of Mexico as well as well as the southwestern Atlantic. And that's due to the fact that the winds are going to be strongest across those areas, averaging up to 25 knots. Anywhere we see those yellows, definite sections of the Greater Antilles for sure, Northwestern Caribbean, Southwestern Atlantic, definitely a lot of strong winds. And we see the both that both the Euro and the GFS models are showing the same thing. As well as the rainfall totals now, these maps from the Euro and the GFS are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 10 p.m. on a Friday. We're not saying that it's going to be raining all the way up until then, but this is all the amount of rainfall that's expected within that time period so definitely anywhere from the eastern caribbean to the western caribbean look at all of this rainfall the more colorful this map get this map gets the more rainfall is expected and we can see the key on the right representing that so we can see that there's consensus that we should be receiving more greens and some slight yellows that represent some amount of isolated rainfall across sections of let's say eastern cuba haiti dominican republic puerto rico majority of the leeward islands but look at that we're starting to get more colorful as we head into guadeloupe dominica martinique saint lucia sections of saint vincent at the grenadines barbados grenada trade and tobago we can also see that rainfall cross sections of especially western guyana venezuela colombia 
we can also see the consensus in the fact that we won't be receiving much in the way of rainfall cross sections of Suriname or French Guiana, but there is a slight possibility of some isolated showers over there. We can also see that heavy rainfall continuing across sections of Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua. Look at Honduras and sections of Belize as well. There's definitely some consensus with all of those purples and even some grays that represent even close to up to 10 inches of rainfall expected expected across those spots. Definitely some amount of flash flooding gonna be taking place across sections of northern Honduras and section of eastern Belize. You can also see that rainfall across sections of El Salvador, Guatemala, sections of Mexico and we can also see that rainfall across sections of the Cayman Islands and the Bahamas as well. I will know that when both maps are showing the same thing like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.